<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome uh, to this audio podcast. This audio podcast is part of the as part of the Interlobular Branch Edition. This audio podcast as part of a Storm Commute Card. This audio podcast as part of a Squadron G Force. This audio podcast as part of a Storm Robotics production. In this audio podcast, uh, in this audio podcast as part of as part of an overview to peer review works from 2000 and 2018. Looking at Henoch Slow in Purple or HSP, uh, and uh, looking at uh, looking at H- uh, HSP and what can be learnt from biomedical, clinical, and anatomy practice on this multidisciplinary disease or MDT disease. Um, the this audio podcast will uh, this audio podcast have a uh, have will have uh, some uh, basis in around the the sort of uh, conclusion conclusion and sort of the summary aspects. So whilst bio- biomedical collaborations are imperative, the most accurate prognostic factors are histological. The percentage of crescents and the presence of interstitial fibrosis and the extension of mesangial, mesangial deposits correlate with the risk of chronic kidney disease, CKD. The risk is, is higher in children or young, uh, young, young patients with with crescents in more than half of the glomeruli um, in adults uh, even fewer than 50 percent um, crescents uh, crescents um, uh, in adults or young adults with uh, even fewer than 50 uh, 50 percent uh, crescents um, are uh, are uh, are um, have been have been uh, have been uh, seen in histological findings and uh, and uh, in form of an unfavorable uh, unfavorable sort of progression around HSP disease. The course of persistent renal renal sequelae uh, sequelae um, and further renal uh, renal uh, renal um, renal uh, sort of flare ups. Uh, flare-ups cannot uh, cannot be precisely predicted by by histology um uh, by histology um uh, uh um but follow up uh, but follow up um follow up in around histological histological uh, uh hist- in in around hist- histopathology findings are 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 are, uh, are often required required um required by uh, by by spe- by uh, specialties by the specialty. Evidence also informs the male gender um, are again a greater a greater than greater than 10 years have symptoms of severe gastrointestinal involvement, um, arthritis and arthralgia. So what can be learnt from biomedical practice on this MDT multidisciplinary disease? So much like uh, hemolytic uremic syndrome, where there is a triad triad of clinical symptomology or a triad of clinical syndrome. HSP has similar patholo- pathological consequences and sort of uh, and, and sort of uh, and, and so, uh, sort of a laboratory 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 medicine and pathology involvement and certainly well designed and conventionally reported investigations in around histology microbiology and hematology laboratory collaborations are still required to identify HSP disease disease and development and progression. So in around the sort of summary around this works, uh, around the summary, HSP is truly a biomedical multidisciplinary or MDT disease. HSP is still considered rare. Um, HSP is still is still somewhat considered rare. Um, systemic uh, non non thrombocytopenic uh, vasculitis, vasculitis, um, uh, sort of um, most sort of commonly commonly. Uh, commonly uh, seen in 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 children, young people between the ages of two years, uh, two years and ten years old. Uh, in uh, this age group, uh, the outcome is almost is almost uh, is almost uh, uh, always is almost always uh, excellent um, and requires uh, uh, and requires uh, and requires sort of uh, clinical clinical clinic uh, clinical uh, support uh, clinical supportive uh, supportive care. In other age groups, atypical atypical presentations are common, renal complications, and to a less lesser extent, gastrointestinal, pulmonary, and new, uh, neurological neurologic and uh, neurological complications can be severe can be severe and difficult to diagnose without biopsy 
and without a biopsy um of um um of um of the uh uh uh, uh, without a biopsy without a biopsy uh, it, uh of um of um for example around uh around uh, uh the um around neurological neurological and and sort of um, pathophysiological systems your ana your analysis uh, is perhaps one of the only investigations required in a classic presenta presentation of hsp further investigations may be required if the diagnosis is unclear abdominal symptoms are severe or where there is evidence of significant renal involvement most cases uh, uh most cases of self-limiting um and self-limiting most cases are self-limiting and require only symptomat symptomatic symptomatic uh, management close follow-up follow -up is critical uh, critical to identify significant renal involvement which uh, requests which which requests inter uh, sort of which, which requests intervention such renal involvement can be can be asymptomatic can be asymptomatic that draws this audio podcast uh, to a close there's been an audio podcast as part of an interlobular branch edition this audio podcast as part of a storm communicard this audio pod or audio podcast as part of a squadron g-force and this audio podcast as part of a Storm Robotics production.